So I'm talking about number seven, which talks about an air track glider being attached to a spring, a spring and being pulled to the right and released at time of zero seconds um, with a period of oscillation for two seconds. And then part A asks us what the amplitude is of the oscillation. So what we know is we know that our period equals 2.0 seconds. We know that Vmax is equal to 40 centimeters per second or 40 meters, uh, 0 0.4 meters per second. Now we can use an equation that says Vmax is equal to our rotational velocity um, times our amplitude or omega times our amplitude. And then we know that our omega is also equal to two pi over our period. So when we plug everything into that equation and do the math, what we come out with is that omega or our rotational speed is going to be equal to pi radians per second. And then we can then rearrange an equation for amplitude and say that amplitude is equal to our V max over our omega. So again, when we plug our numbers in 0 0.4 divided by pi, we get that equal to approximately 0 0.127 meters which is equal to 12.7 centimeters, which is the answer for part A. Part B asks us to find the glider's position at time equals 0 0.25 seconds. So we can use the equation, our x position times t is equal to a, um, our amplitude times our cosine times our omega, um, our cosine over our omega times t. And so when we plug our numbers in, we have x times 0 0.25, equals 0.127 meters over cosine of pi times 0 0.25, which when we do the math and solve for x, gives us 0 0.09 meters or nine centimeters, which is the position of the glider at t equals 0 0.025 seconds.